Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lee Marie and I teach you how to. I am so sorry for the delay in the videos. If you've been following me, then you know that I had some amazing things happen this year, including my acceptance into the Accelerator program, the workshop at Macy's. I will be making a separate video all about that experience and the things that I learned within the program, which was a lot. Um, meeting with buyers and, you know, talking distribution, logistics, financials, so many things to cover. I will definitely be making a video regarding that, so stay tuned for that. And so I apologize that I haven't been doing videos regularly, but I'm finally back and should be back on my schedule. Now, to today's video. Super excited about this video because I haven't tried a new wax in a long time. And this wax comes to us from Makesee. And this is the Coco Glow Soy Candle Wax. Now, the reason I'm excited is a, a few different things. One, it's a soy wax that happens to have coconut and food grade paraffin in it. It is labeled as vegan, so I'm assuming the amount of paraffin or the kind of paraffin is vegan or just not, not enough to warrant um, not being called vegan. So um, it is labeled as vegan on the website. It is also labeled as a wax that is really good for not just containers, but also molds. So we're gonna keep, we're gonna give it a try today. We're gonna see how it handles a container. This is the eight ounce Aura Vessel from Makesy. And then we're also gonna see how it does with molds. Now I'm assuming since the main ingredient of this, it's a soy wax that happens to have coconut and paraffin. Um, I think it'll hold up well in, um, in molds. So we're gonna test that out and see how that goes. Now, here's something really cool about this wax. So it's coconut, it's soy, and it's paraffin, but it comes in this cool bag, and I'll do a close-up of this later, but it, has, it comes in these little pastille granules. Um, so they're super lightweight, and I have them melting behind me in the Makesy nine liter um, wax melter, and within minutes of putting them in, it was already starting to melt. So if you're looking for a wax that is gonna melt really fast, these small little kind of granules are perfect for that. So we are going to see a couple properties about this uh, wax that I wanna talk about. First, um, again, it's more of a soy wax than it is coconut. A lot of the coconut waxes that we know and love like to be heated really hot. They like to go up to, you know, 200, 220 degrees. This one, not so much. This one likes to be uh, heated and poured to about 145 to 150. So definitely a big difference from the coconut soy waxes that we're used to. Again, I think that's because a larger percentage of it is going to be soy. Now I'm curious to see how it does with frosting and adhesion, cold throw, hot throw, things like that but those are things we're gonna figure out. So let's get started. So while I've got the wax behind me, um, and just so you know, I'm going to leave links to everything that I've used down below. So you can definitely take advantage of those and then I'll give you guys a discount code so you can save a little bit of money and give all of these products a try. So first what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna try this out in the eight ounce Aura. Now, if you're a fan of Makesy, you know that the Aura Vessel is one of the most gorgeous and versatile vessels that they've got. And within the last couple years, they decided to do an eight ounce because the normal um, Aura is 12 ounces. So this is a smaller version. I absolutely love it. I think it's super classic, very pretty. Um, and so this vessel is the one that we're going to use today. Now, when I was researching this wax, it says to start out with the O2 series as far as wicks. And that happens to be my favorite series. So what the wick that I have is the Crackling Wick Booster O2. That's the one I have, Crackling Booster O2. Um, and that's the one we're gonna have, and this is a three inch uh, wick. All right, so as I mentioned before, it is the O2 series that this wax apparently likes. And so I'm trying out the Crackling O2 Booster. Um, it's the natural, natural crackling wicks from Makesy. Um, so I've slid it into the wick clip. I've added my wick sticker. Now I'm going to take off that second one. And then I'm just gonna look for the very center of the vessel and we're gonna stick right in there. Mm 
right in the very center. There we go. We are wicked and ready to go. I also did want to do a quick close up. So this is a mold from Makesy. It is like a seashell mold for embeds. So we're gonna try this one out with this wax to see how it comes out and how it holds up. And then we're also gonna try the chrysanthemum one. This is a really pretty flower, would make a gorgeous wax melt or an embed. Um, so we're gonna try this one and see how it comes out. This one, I'm very curious because it's got a lot of folds in there. Um, so it's going to be very fragile. So I'm curious how this uh, wax is gonna hold up in this mold. Okay, let's talk fragrance load. Now this particular wax apparently likes a fragrance load of nine to 10%. So it's best not to go over that. You wanna make sure that the adhesion between the fragrance and the wax is seamless. So definitely pay attention to what the suggestions are. And so for this particular wax, we're talking nine to 10%. And the fragrance that I've chosen for today is if you saw one of my last videos, it was the Destinations uh, fragrance review. And I absolutely fell in love with this fragrance. It's the Japanese Onsen and Forest Bathing. This is such a beautiful masculine spa fragrance that it's worth every penny. I know that it's expensive, but trust me, this is luxury. This is designer. Like this is worth every penny. It has so much, like it's, it smells like a really expensive, fantastic cologne for men. And it has this gorgeous earthiness. It has like, there's like, I don't know if it's cedar or balsam or pine. There's just this beautiful earthiness to it that is also very high end and designer. So I'm very excited to try this in a candle. And so that's what I'm going to use for this candle. And then um, when it comes to this, um, the molds, I think I'm going to also do the fragrance because I'm just gonna melt these on a wax melter. I think especially for summer, if you have this cute mold with all of the seashells, um, you could make some really fun wax melt packs. Um, you could use color with these and have some colorful seashells. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and fragrance um, the, the two molds as well, just cause I think it would go really, really nice. Okay, we are ready to pour. We're at 150 degrees and I did 10% fragrance and this fragrance smells absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to try it on a candle. Okay, so I did pour, uh, I did pour some extra scented uh, wax in here so that I could fill some of these embeds. Okay, so we are going to wait and see how these set up, pop them out, and I'll give you my, my thoughts on this amazing new wax. Okay, guys, it has been 24 hours that we have let all of this um, set, and I want to check and see how these are going to come out of the mold. Um, so again, this wax, it's coconut, it's soy, and it's paraffin. Um, exactly how much of each, we're not sure. They um, makes these has it listed as a soy wax um so i'm assuming it's soy with then a certain percentage of cocoa nut and then a certain percentage of um of paraffin but let's take a look so i think it's set pretty well i think it's very um nice and even and it looks like it adhered really nicely to the sides so so far impressed um there's just the slightest dip um, in the middle, but other than that, I think that it came out really, really nice. Okay, so this is what I wanted to see is, you know, how does it hold up with um, being in a mold? So let's take a look, here's one. And I think that's pretty darn amazing. I think that came out really, really well. Um, you can see like all the little grooves and everything. I'll do a close up in a second, but um, I think that it came out really well out of the mold. Yeah, and they're literally just like coming right out um, of the mold. So for embeds, for little molded things, like I said, these would make such cute little, um, if you did like a little summer seashell pack of uh, wax melts, these would be super, super cute. 
Um, I'm sure you could add color, um, but these are coming out really, really nice. So now, here's the one I'm worried about, is this one, because this one has such delicate um, petals. We need to see how this one comes out. Yeah, it didn't come out so great. Uh, the, the petals broke. So this one is still a mold that I have not been able to get pretty much any wax out of, except for the pillar wax. The pillar wax is the only wax I've been able to use in this particular mold to get it out and not have it come out in pieces. Um, I will say though, like you can tell it, it, it did capture the shape really nicely, um, but it just, it fell apart when you're trying to take it out and it did set a full 24 hours. So um, for smaller molds like these, like the little seashell molds, it is perfect for those. Came out really well. So I think if your molds are on the smaller side, I'm going to put these out here so you can see them. I think if your, if your molds are on the smaller side, then this is a really fantastic wax to use. Um, it captures the shape really nicely. And let's see. This is my fault because I poured in too much, but you can see that it captures the shape really, really nicely. So for smaller molds, I'm going to say this wax is pretty awesome. And like I said, when it comes to the actual candle itself, I think that it is beautiful. It's bright white. It's smooth. Um, don't see any, you know, sinkholes or no frosting, no nothing like that. So pretty impressed with the pour. It was a single pour. I didn't um, use a heat gun. I didn't pour. I didn't do a double pour. So it is a single pour. Nice, smooth top. Here's a close up. I just really want you to see the detail of the seashells um, that it captured. It, it really did capture a lot of the detail. Um, super pretty. And you can tell it's solid. It doesn't feel like it's, you know, mushy in my hands or anything. It's, it's solid. So we love that. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope that you found today's video informational and that it helps you with your business. All of the products that I've used today, I'm going to link, link down below. So be sure to snatch them up if you want them. Um, I'll have all the products. Most of them are from Makesy, so you can head over to Makesy. And be sure to use my discount code. Now, just so you know, you can only use this code once, so make it count. But it is 20% off your entire order. So the code is home 20 Use that code, save 20% off everything in your order. Be sure to stock up on wax, on vessels, on wicks, fragrances. You know what you love from Makesy. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I post videos every week trying to help you with your business and teach you how to. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.